This is Jacaranda mimosifolia, or also sold as Jacaranda acutifolia. And um, what you're looking at is the reason why it's such a popular tree. These uh, stunning purple flowers uh, make it very unique and um, sought after. So um, you're looking at photos of it in um, San Diego, California, also in Los Angeles, and um, that's because it uh, is not a very hardy tree. It uh, originates from Brazil and it does like warmth um, and it does not like the cold. So it's listed at being uh, hardy to about 25 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, I live in an inland valley where uh, during the winter it usually the lows are around 25 to 30 degrees Fahrenheit but we get the odd winter where the temperature drops down in below 20 and that's killed it so I know of one tree in our town that survived and uh, it's not super old it's probably 10 12 years old but uh, it's very hard to make a go of it in the uh, colder temperature areas so but on the other hand <coughs> excuse me on the other hand it says that uh, it does not flower well unless it gets some warmth so if it's too close to the coast uh, and by the ocean in cooler areas it may not get enough warmth to effectively bloom that said these blossoms that you saw in the first few frames those are in San Diego right down next to the the bay and um, and they were flowering great so um, just a couple of things to know about the bloom and what to expect the tree itself you know as great as all those flowers are they end up on the ground so um, you just have to be willing to live with the mess um, when they are done blooming uh, to go along with the great color uh, the texture of the leaves is very fine and lacy. Uh, you can see here this is uh, during the summer and this is the open habit of the tree. And here um, what happens is, is they go deciduous in, uh, towards the end of winter. Um, and then this is taken in May, late May, when this is in heavy bloom. And then right as the blooms are coming off, um, that's usually when the leaves follow and refoliate the tree. So it's got kind of an odd uh, deciduous time. It's late winter through spring is usually when it's uh, bare. And um, you can also see here the branching structure is fairly irregular and you know they, they need a, some attention when they're young to kind of get them looking um, good and, and, and keep the shape um, in a way that you would like. So um, just know that they need a little training when they're young otherwise they can look pretty awkward. So you know I see these used by Caltrans in California um, along, along areas like San Jose and so forth and then certainly in California I'm sorry LA I see them along the freeze freeways as well and then I've also seen them used as street trees so um, yeah, this is in a in Santa Barbara right here in an apartment complex and um, they use quite a few of them in there the size um, is that's probably a 40 35 yeah 35 foot high by 30 foot wide tree right there fairly mature one I believe the age on that one's 20 to 30 years old that you're looking at the trunk on it appears to be about 16 inches in diameter or so so they can become larger trees I saw one in Los Angeles that was easily 40 feet tall um, and I think you know as a designer you just want to think about the trade-off between the blooms and I think the blooms last probably three to five weeks long and whether that bloom is enough to justify the mess and, um, and, and the other characters of the tree. I like the openness of it um, if I want some, some um, the presence of a tree but I don't want a very heavy um, canopy on it like something like a mulberry might have then this is really nice see how much sky you can see through this shot right here when you're looking at the leaves so you get uh, filtered shade through these trees and I think that's pretty nice so um, that's what I can tell you about it, it's fairly tolerant of uh, many conditions in terms of the soil prefers slightly sandy soil and also uh, I would say it's smog tolerant because there's a lot of these in Los Angeles so that is Jacaranda mimosifolia 
beautiful flowering tree just be aware that um, there is some mess associated with it and by the way it gets a flat seed pod um, but uh, they can actually look kind of ornamental and they don't seem to stay on the tree and, and uh, so they're not an unattractive part of the tree itself.